going to have an experiment conduction on gun diode oscillator and its characteristics. Now, this is what we have a gun power supply and this is a micro test bench where which we are going to find out the characteristics and the gun output this is the pin modulator output now this is the gun bias voltage now this particular source is going to display both current as well as voltage which is being required for gun oscillator now this is the knob for amplitude of the modulation signal and this is the knob provided for the frequency variation of the modulating signal. Now both inputs we are going to apply to this diode. This is a gun bias which is being connected over here. And similar to the pin modulator is to be supplied from here. Now initial setting of the knob, the gun bias is kept minimum then modulation amplitude is kept at the middle position then modulation frequency is also kept at the middle position now turn on this supply and connect the output device to the detector mount of a tube set the bias voltage near about 5 volts the particular threshold voltage at which the oscillation of that particular gun oscillator starts. Here about after crossing 3 volts, you are going to get some kind of oscillation in the form of a square continuous. Volt, that is after crossing the threshold value of this gun diode, we will get a maximum output which is observed on a display scope. Now the same output can be shown with the help of VSWR meter. When we connect this output to the VSWR meter, it will show full deflection. Okay, at minimum dB position at the scale range of 50 dB, so it is showing the maximum deflection, indicating that the output obtained from the gun diode is maximum. Now, here what we want to see, after crossing the threshold value of a gun diode, increase in applied gun bias voltage will result in decrease in the amount of current. So right now at near about 5 volt, the observed current is about 160 milliamperes. Now if we exceed this particular voltage, which we call it as a threshold voltage, that particular gun diode will enter into negative resistance region and further increase in the voltage will cause a reduction in the current. So that is observable from now onwards. If we increase the voltage stepwise in increments of 0.2 volt. Now if we increase the voltage beyond this particular value, we will note that this particular current starts decreasing. By 2, you observe that this particular current has been reduced to a value 159. Earlier it was a 160 milliampere and right now it became 159. So after again still increasing the voltage, we will find that this current goes on reducing and we will get a negative resistance characteristics. Now let us say at 5.6, at 5.6 the current is again 156 which is less than earlier case. Now similarly the current will become lesser and lesser with the increase of gun bias voltage. So that means this particular gun diode has been entered into negative resistance region and on a graph if you would like to show, so that will be a simple curve between current and voltage. Now here let us say the current I and let us say on the horizontal axis the voltage is this. Now initially when we increase the voltage the current will increase linearly up to certain point. Now after that point when we increase that particular voltage still further after this particular value of voltage the current will start decreasing again this is going to repeat. So this particular region from this to this, so this is being called as non-linear region or this we can call it as a negative resistance region. So this particular section we are utilizing for the purpose of generation of continuous oscillation from gun diode. So as we know that 
when we increase the voltage the current graph is reducing so that means increase in the voltage is causing the current to reduce so that is whatever we are getting that is the phenomenon of negative differential resistance and this resistance results in a continuous oscillation at the output of gun oscillator and this is how the gun oscillator is going to be utilized as a continuous source of microwave oscillations thank you